Hello all! This is Zorch, and welcome back to another episode of my Pokemon Nuzlocke Challenge. I just uh, woke up from a nap I was having in the corner of this uh, place because I am a hom homeless 10-year-old child. But uh, last episode, we cleared Elix Forest and a little bit of Route 34 here. I think this episode we're going to finish Route 34 off, that's for sure. And we're also going to probably check out Route 35 and 36. We'll see how much time we have. Um, so yeah, we'll fight this person down here. Ah. Now as... Oh, let's have a practice battle. Uh, as is becoming my practice, I lied to you guys once again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure at some point I mentioned I was going to be running a series about uh, a racing game. And Need for Speed Underground 2 is what I was going to do. Uh, but I realized there was a little bit of copyright troubles. Because the game has a uh, soundtrack. So I'm deciding what I'm going to do about that. I might just turn off the game sounds and try again later. Uh, but as it sits right now, that won't be coming. But eventually, I will have a racing game. Don't you worry. I know you all want to see that, right? Maybe I'll find a Pokemon racing game. Um, while we were uh, over the break in... I don't even know what it said was coming next. I trained up my Pokemon a little bit here, so everybody's at level 18, which is nice, I guess. Um, and I'm still worried that that won't be enough to deal with, um, what's her name? Whitney. Whitney and her Miltang. But I think I've come up with a strategy for dealing with her. <laughs> um, but we'll get to that when we need to. See, everyone's level 18. Let's, let's, let's train Petri a little bit here. Bulba, Bulba, Bulbasaur! Uh, the starter, the original three starters are fantastic, in my own personal opinion. Um, they're just, they're all kind of dinosaur-y, I guess. Well, technically the whole Charmander line is, like, salamanders. Because in Japan, salamanders are actually mythically associated with volcanoes. Like, then that's how salamanders are, and they live forever and all kinds of things. They're actually amphibians, so if you drop them in lava, they will definitely die. So don't... Please don't go around dropping your salamanders into the fire to see how they react. You're too strong to be a practice partner. Whenever I see a strong trainer, I want to be their cheerleader. When I'm on my walk, I sometimes pick up items. If I get anything, you can have it. Want to give me your number? Sure. Random stuff. Gina. Hey, right, next. Here comes the next cont- Oh god, I was singing Nickelback. Oh no! <laughs> oh. This kid's the best in his class, though, so... At least at Pokémon, he's... He's probably a little lacking in... The math department, I guess. Um... Yeah. I was gonna say something about being a dork, but then I would be kind of insulting myself, and then it's like, oh... Oh... Anyone else come up, up with, uh... Like, special definitions for words? Like, words that were kind of used interchangeably, like nerd, dork, geek, but coming up with your own, um, specific definitions so you could pick which words you would like to be described at. Like, um, nerds were people who were smart, uh, but also liked weird things, was kind of the way I des described them. Geeks didn't necessarily have to be smart. Um, but we're definitely super passionate about things. And then dorks were not smart. Was how I always thought about it, for some odd reason. But I'm sure everyone thought, picked how they wanted to find their words their own way. Yes, kid, your class is not the be-all, end-all. This is what a lot of people learn. Oh, I thought you were a trainer. Well, oh, he's only a trainer if you talk to him. Who goes there? What are you up to? Question mark. 
shifty eyes. I'm not a dirty cop. Out here on Route 34. Oh god, he's shooting me! <laughs> oh, it's a flashlight. Never mind. <laughs> Ooh, a level 17 Growlithe. Maybe I'm not completely overtrained. Let, let, let's see what he goes with first. Wake him a bit. Oh, he's just gonna change me out for probably a grass type Pokemon. Hey, look at that. Uh, can you do anything useful here? No. Uh, so we're going to switch to Mr. Quartz and we're going to rock him. <laughs> see what I did there? Rock? Be be because he's a rock. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh, I could have used Magnitude. Magnitude's pretty awesome. Is Growlithe like? Oh! Okay, I guess I get to use Magnitude anyway. Please don't flinch anymore, Mr. Quartz. There we go, this should... This should end the fight. Mr. Quartz actually loaded up, took a lot of damage there. I guess he... It's because he doesn't have very high special defense. Would be why. Ooh, Nussus is screw up. Very high attack on a- ooh, trying to learn Stun Spore. Well, I've already established that, uh, no. You don't get to learn anything useful. There we go. So, this'll, uh, date things a bit. But since this is coming out... Eh, whatever. I recently watched the Oscars with my mother. Um... It was fun times. Like, it was nothing special. I'm not- I'm not a huge... Well, I- I do really like movies and judging them and... <sighs> but this guy, he's confident in his ability to raise Pokémon. Yes, I would like to see you raise those Pokémon. Raise them up so they can walk on my- Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for your ears. Ooh. We'll have a Psyduck battle. I think this is another guy I can get a phone number from. Uh, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll just confuse him. Oh, I forgot what I was saying, so I'm gonna go back to the Oscars. Ooh, scratch. I'm so scared. I'll just disable that, and then you can't scratch me. Mmm. Um, yeah, the Oscars. This, this year was kinda neat. Um, unfortunately I hadn't seen as many of the Best Picture nominees as I would have liked. I'd only seen, uh, the Grand Budapest Hotel, um, The Imitation Game, and, oh, The Theory of Everything what was the other one. Uh, but, uh, and they were all pretty good, and... One of the things actually had the most fun about the Oscars is discussing why I thought certain movies were better than other ones. Like, personally, I didn't really like The Imitation Game. I didn't find it any strength. Yeah, well, it was interesting, but I kind of took it as a... Oh, no, I don't want your number. You just tell me about bargains. But yeah, you can have my number. I'll delete numbers if I have to later. Okay, um... Yes. I thought The Imitation was kind of a feel-good movie. It, like, it talked about Stephen Hawking's struggles and all, and that was cool. Um, and Stephen Hawking's a cool guy. I admit that. But it just... It was all about him, and I didn't really feel like there was much that really applied. Like, sorry Stephen Hawking, I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not a physics genius, and I don't have ALS, so I... I have a hard time. I couldn't empathize with any of the characters, was one of the things. Um, Alright, so let's hit up Route 36 here. Oh, you need a favor? Sure, later though. I will do it later. Route 35, okay, let's fight you. Uh, whereas the imitation game. I, it kind of fault. Mm -hmm. I was making the argument that I couldn't get. I couldn't uh, sympathize. Really, I wasn't sympathizing with the character so much, but the um, the fact that all his achievements were just kind of thrown out the window 
Well, really, his achievements were secret in the first place. Um, what's with you people in using Roar? But yes, Alan Turing is a guy I find really interesting. I, I really like computers, for one thing, and he's pretty important in the history of modern digital computing. Um, but yeah, I felt like it had themes that could be applied currently. It highlights an issue that we have in society right now, where we don't... I'm gonna show my girlfriend I'm hot stuff. Um, there's still problems we have with people who are different. Um, and that is never cool. I do not approve, I have to say. Um, so, that was one of the reasons why I... They were kind of similarly, similar movies, um, between The Imitation Game and The Theory of Everything, and I think The Theory of Everything was not as good as The Imitation Game. Uh, that being said... Those... Oh, well, I like those movies. Um, other things, though, that kind of came up... I... I haven't seen Boyhood, so I can't really say anything. Um, but there was a lot of hype around Boyhood, and I could not get behind the hype. It... It was like 3D for me. From everything I've heard about the movie itself, if it hadn't been filmed in the way it was, it would not have been a significant movie. And I don't think anything should ever win on one base thing. Um... Yeah, so, I just felt it was gimmicky, and that is why I... I, I disapproved. <laughs> so, I'm... glad Birdman did well. I actually really want to see Birdman, that might be something I see very shortly. Um... Oh, sorry, sorry dude, I, I don't lose to anyone to let them lose. This is something I learned early on in... Oh, I forgot to change out my Pokemon. Uh, learned early on! My family is very competitive. There was one time I, I was playing Pokemon uh, with my dad, um, and he was... He did not... He, no. Pokemon was not his thing. Uh, let's put it that way. Um, so I was kind of letting... I was using moves that didn't do damage, like Tail Whip and Leer and stuff like that. And at one point, I mentioned that I was kind of going easy on him, and he was like, never go easy on anyone. Well, he didn't say it that way. This is the way I took it. Um, because he immediately turned off the thing and left. So I was like, okay, I guess I'm not going to do that ever again. So, I'm very competitive. Um, I'm very bad at going easy on people. Mr. Quats. Moist and... I love how butchered the Boston accent's gotten. Okay, now we will properly switch our Pokemon out. I have not been focusing on the the uh, the trainers and their stories. I've just been roaming. I've been running through them. This guy is looking the wrong way. I've been getting Pokemon data off my radio. I think I'm good. Uh, Poke Maniac. Oh no, he's a camper. I think everyone on this route's a camper, except for the guy who's a fire starter guy, dude. Majiggy thing. Oh, this will be easy. Let's go, Sarah. Let's go. <laughs> but yeah, um, I suppose I could present this as a question to you guys. Uh, for anyone who watched the Oscars, well, Oscars or watched any of the uh, nominees, what do you think? Do you disagree with me? Um, I suppose my question is. What do you think makes a good movie? Like, what do you judge when you're watching a movie to decide whether it's good or not? If you're judging at all, if you're just enjoying it for entertainment value, let me know that too. Anyway, so there's... If, if I was calling it a question of the day, that's what it would be. This Zubat is bugging me. Zubat Zat. Sarah? I like you, Sarah. You wear your name proudly. 
and you don't afraid of anything. Ooh, another Diglett. Now that I realize that this guy was a camper, the voice I gave him really doesn't... really doesn't agree anymore. But... eh? What are you gonna do about it? Uh, now, on this route there are lots of places you can get to using Cut. Um, but I of course don't have the Pokemon that knows Cut with me right now, do I? Because I had taught it to the tentacle. I realized that when I was training, I was going to go back and I was going to fight, um... I was going to go train at the other end of the Elix Forest. But, uh, I wouldn't have been able to get through because there was a tree in the way. Ooh, Magmar, that is not someone I want to be dealing with right now. I remember that, uh, this terrified me. Uh, when I first came across this Magmar, uh, when I was younger. Because Magmar from the from the TV show and from the uh, Gen 1. Oh, burning! I knew that uh, Magmar was a strong Pokemon. Um, so I was very scared. Oh, yeah, we're, we're just going to switch Lucky out now. I don't think burns hurt you as you walk, so it'll be okay. Mr. Quartz will clean up because this is what he does. Mr. Quartz is kind of like the rock, the bedrock, if you will, of my team. Uh, he's the one who holds it together um, when everyone else fails. Oh god. This Magmar actually is pretty strong. Oh, come on! And now my accuracy's reduced, and I might be poisoned, and... Oh my god! Actually, seven. That should at least knock him out. And then I'm gonna be hurt by the poison. Unless the battle's over. I hope the battle's over. Okay, so... Another Magmar! But... Ugh... Okay, Petrie, put him to sleep. This guy is really messing up my team. Just with two Magmars. What is this? He's fast, too. He's faster than my whole party, it seems. Alright, he's asleep now. We can do something to him. Back. As long as he stays asleep, things will be okay. Mm. Okay, as long as he doesn't wake up right here. Alright, okay, awesome. Good job, team. You managed to survive this one. Ooh, excellent. Good job, Petrie. I scorched... I scorched... Ah! I scorched the tip of my nose! Liz, I don't have time to talk. My Pokemon are poison. Uh, where is Liz? Route 32? Oh, that's south of Violet. I can't... I can't get there right now, Liz. Ah! Damn! <laughs> Behold, my graceful ball dexterity. Huh. I walked into the... Between the two of these because I... Was okay with fighting both of them. Uh, but then the first one messed me up. <laughs> Why do you have level 2 Pokemon? Why do you have level 2 Pokemon? It seems a little wrong. Okay. Juggler Erwin. Is this one level 6? Okay. I was gonna say level 4, actually, not level 6. I said I saw them at the same... Oh. Okay. Can't even one-shot a level 6. That's because Meganium's a lot more tanky, so... It's okay. Not Meganium, this is Bayleaf. Silly me. Tricks are for kids. Has anyone actually ever had tricks? I recall hearing recently that Voltorb doesn't learn any electric-type moves. 
actually. So, even though it's an electric type, everything will be okay. Um, I don't know which will do more. Peck. Peck has the stab on it, so maybe, maybe it'll be better. Versus, oh, but it. Less stab, but not very effective, so I think tackle's probably gonna be better. Yes. Yes, it is. But we'll back again, because I like sandwiches. I actually do really enjoy well crafted sandwiches. Um. Yeah, no, we'll stick with Petri for now. Level 14. Yes! That one I actually did guess! I promise! I'm not lying! And then we'll just tackle this one to death. It's weird that it started at level 2. I guess it was because... I think the way they decide the Pokémon levels in a specific route... ...is they pick a number for that route, and then... ...and that number is like the total level each trainer will have. Um, so Pokemon trainers with more Pokemon generally have less, um, have lower level Pokemon. Which makes sense, actually. Okay, Mr. Quartz, Sarah, you're done. Oh, Mr. Quartz is in front, and... Okay, um... Never mind, Sarah, you're still in the lead. Uh, we're gonna head to the Pokemon Center, um, and I think I will come back, I'll get back to you guys, um, once we're back here. And we're just gonna finish off this route, I don't remember if we fight- yes, danger lurks in the night! Why am I making all the police people creepy? I guess it is night time, so... Officer Dirk wants to battle. Dirk! It's like a- it's like a short- well, it's a long knife, I guess is what a Dirk is. Magnitude. Wait, this isn't a Magneton. Don't flinch! You're under the rock! Good. 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 Dwayne the Rock Paulson. For those of you who don't get that joke, which is all of you, um, Mr. Paulson was the band teacher at my high school. And he's the most not like the rock person there is. So that's why it's funny. It's kind of a weird roundabout thing. Don't use roar! Good job. I approve of you, Growler. Damn it! Why gotta burn my Pokemon, Growler? Do. Why did that one do so- was the first one a critical hit, and I didn't notice? Or does burning actually reduce your attack damage? I don't know, Meng. Alright. There we go, everyone's up to ni level 19, that's nice. Whoops. You know, nighttime is fun in its own ways, but don't overdo it, okay? And there's one last trainer over here. Uh, we'll just... Ooh, it's a... I can couch this, I realize. Um... Yeah. I completely forgot that I haven't caught a Pokemon in this route yet. Is that... Does that look like halfway to you guys? Um... I want to see who has lower attack than Geodude. Okay, 43, 35, 31, 22, okay, Petrie, you're in. Uh, plus, you can put him to sleep. I completely forgot that I could catch a Pokemon in this route. And now Petrie's asleep. We'll just, uh, go until he wakes up again. There we go. 
Okay, so now it's asleep. We'll tackle it once, for good measure. Very good. And then we will catch it. Drowsy. What should we name Drowsy? Do I have Pokeballs? I, I have Pokeballs and not, not much else. Here we go. One, two, three. Pressing A the whole time. Yes! Drowsy's data. Drowsy, the hypnosis Pokemon. When it twitches its nose, it can tell where someone is sleeping and what that person is dreaming about. Um... Okay, well... Drowsy... Turns into a hypno... Let's call him... Yeah, let's call him... Oh, I don't know if I have... I don't have enough. Okay, that's sad. Well, he won't be Copperfield, he'll be Copperfeld. But that's okay. Okay, last trainer on the route, and then we'll end this episode, which is actually turning out to be longer than I expected. He'll go anywhere if bug Pokemon appear there. Just so you know. Bug catcher Arnie! Sent out a Venonath. Mr. Quartz! Um... Ah, we'll throw a rock at him. You guys ever heard of, uh... I imagine many of you have, but like... The thing where you can pick two Pokemon, it'll make a merged image of them. Cubone and anything looks fantastic. I think this guy gives me his number two. My Venonat won me the bug catching contest at National Park. Do you get the feeling that there are more rare Pokemon around? I'm positive there, so I look all the time. If I find one, I want to share the good news with everyone I know. I know! Give me your phone number! Um, so there's another number I can get rid of immediately. Okay, well, I think that's where I'm going to end today's episode. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to let me know how you felt. And if you'd like to see more from me, click on any of the links you see here. I hope you have a good one.